want you to think about God's destiny for your life, no matter what age you might be. You could be 15, you could be 30, you could be 60, you could be 70, 80, or 90, or 100. And God has a destiny for each of you. friends, Tony Tucker, Sunday afternoon after church with Precious down here drinking her water. She looked cute with her little jersey on. It says, living with my parents, but I'm her only parent. <laughs> How are you guys doing this beautiful Sunday? We just had a big storm in Florida the other day or last night. And it's moved on, and it's a little gloomy today, but it's still nice and windy. It's about 67 degrees. I guess that's a virtual heat wave where a lot of people live, especially on the eastern coast and in the, in the Midwest. But for us Floridians whose blood has thinned out, it's like cold. <laughs> people come here, and they see this weather. They want to go to the beaches and swim, and we're like, oh, it's too cold. Let me put on my boots and my big funny Christmas sweaters. <laughs> well, I hope you're having a good day. I got some Nicodies. Here's the bag. And um, I know it's Sunday. I could have a better meal. But um, I've been just wanting some Nicodies. I haven't had it in a while. And um, I'm going to eat me a cheeseburger, a medium fry, and a Dr. Pepper. And Precious has a single, well, a cheeseburger nothing on it of course and some water that's what she was sipping on there how about you guys what do you like to eat on sundays do you like um burgers and fries or chicken sandwiches or chicken tenders or do you like to have a substantive meal with vegetables and meat and potatoes or lobster or something tell me about it in the comment section and don't forget to like comment and subscribe it's tony tucker here we had a great sunday great word from the Lord and um, then we're gonna go home and just chill out a little bit and I'm glad to see you guys that, that you're seeing me that you're enjoying the videos that you're going to make comments that you are commenting and that your lives are going well and if not just tell me what's going on I'd love to pray for you drop a line I'll see you in a bit as I use my app and I got the quarter pounder with cheese meal medium for, and no salt on the fries, especially. These fries are good. They're falling out all over the floor, of course. That's not fun. I'm just trying to show you what I got, as if you don't know what McDonald's fries look like. Hmm, those look good. Hmm. Tastes even better. <laughs> Bit right into a pickle. Mm. Mm. This quarter pounder with cheese is nice and fresh. The buns are fresh. I must have had their delivery. A fresh bag today. Mm. The ketchup tastes fresh, the onions, <laughs> the meat. Mm. Mm. Good color pounds of cheese. <laughs> think about God's destiny for your life no matter what age you might be you could be 15 you could be 30 you could be 60 you could be 70 80 or 90 or 100 and God has a destiny for each and one of us he fashioned and preordained us, preordained us before the world was made and he knows our steps are guided by the Holy Spirit when we listen to the Holy Spirit and you think that your destiny to find the stone's way if it had me manifest it.
what are you waiting for the Lord to bring to you in your life? You have manifest. Are you doing something to hold it back? Are you diverting it? Holding it up? Or are you just waiting and he's saying he's just going to take it? I took his time. <laughs> but it's coming. Yet it carries that jelly car. Oh, these guys are so good. Where are they? Anyway. Yeah, tell me about destiny and your destiny. And what do you believe the Lord has told you? And it's coming your way. It's coming your way. It's on its way. Mm. A sip of this Dr. Pepper. Mm, that's a medium. And that's interesting. Everything is at his time and his way. So mm. well, God knows what's best for you. Give me a like, comment, and hit the notification bell as well. Eventually. Hi, YouTube family. It's Happy New Year. It's been a while since I've spoken with you. Have you ever just wanted to hear from God? <laughs> the sweet stillness of the Holy Spirit. The presence of the Lord without any religiosity, any um, interference, any craziness. Just to hear from God, to speak a word into you, to encourage you, to bless your heart so you could bless others and you could be blessed. Wisdom is the beginning of knowledge. Knowing God is the beginning of knowledge. Yep, it's always nice just to hear from the sweet Holy Spirit, to silence all the loud noise out and just to hear from God to know what direction you're going in and where to go and what to do in the name of Jesus, especially with the new year, with so much going on in the world, turmoil and fighting and, you know, all that's going on in Israel and Ukraine and Russia and America even. So much to pray for, so much to do. So many souls that are so lost, so in their own thing, and so far from God, who need you, who need to hear from you, who need a, a blessed word from you, Lord Jesus. We need to hear from you. I need to hear from you. You're a wonderful, beautiful God, and I know you'll come through vitally, financially, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Godly, miraculous, miraculously saving souls and giving us clarity in our hearts and spirits on what to do. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your peace and your joy in healing race relations. And that's beyond just black and white. That's everything. Thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for the bad walk, walking his doggy. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your beauty. You see that man? Yeah, he's walking his doggy. Okay. Just thought you might want to hear about getting quiet and still and hearing from God and being blessed. Hey, guys. I was just thinking... What is it that you really want from the Lord? You heard my dialogue earlier as I sit here just meditating. What do you want? Precious, do you know what you want? <laughs> I don't know if I even have you on camera right there. But anyway, is it a high, a low? Do you want to help people? Do you want to start a business? Do you want to get married? Do you want to stay single? <laughs> Do you want to feel better, healthy, happier, healthier, richer? Are you content where you are? 
Do you want to continue to help people? What do you want to do with what God has given you? Remember that poem um, Dr. Martin Luther King read it a long time ago, and I used to use it for years when I would uh, be a guest speaker at many various places. And it was, if you can't be a pine on the top of a hill, be a shrub in the valley, but be the best little shrub by the side of a wheel. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be the sun. If you can't be the star, be a, be a sunshine. <laughs> so whatever you are, do the best with what God has given you. And yes, I paraphrased it because I forgot some of it. But it was just at the web and I just thought about it to encourage you. So, um, yeah, what would you like to do to encourage other people to be stronger to do great things and exploits in your life and to help others, not just to build yourself up, but to build others up and to glorify God. Is there anything you'd like to do? Um, tell me. You can drop a line below on the comments section and I'll listen to you and dialogue with you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in a moment.